All right, We're grabbing a little dinner. Got Dave, Carl, Jose. Three of me guys are downtown. We might hook up with them a little later. Well, the rest of the three of me guys. Carl's is from three of me. So we're gonna find out what the favorite room. Dave, you have a favorite room today? Boy, you know, they've got two new RS. I heard a lot of really interesting things. Interesting things from the very start of the day, huh? Exactly. And what I liked about staying long after it was supposed to, supposed to close down, it, a lot of people were good citizens. They left like they should. When I stayed, <laughs> so and I was able to get, get a lot of uh, personal. Do you want to soup and salad so together? Yes, okay. He always has good food. The, the last two rooms I, I visited today were the two uh, two Wilson rooms. They Impressive. Had, uh, the new Alice 5 in one room, and the other room right next to it had the Sasha. Okay. So they have it there? And I thought each speaker made it to the size of each room really well. And I sat down, and you were What I loved about how it kept everything in scale. Like the vocals, things didn't look, nothing was larger than life. Right. Yeah, those, oh, sure. These are all nice. The rest of it is all nice. Nice. Circle. So the only one we got to do your recordings today was Muir Audio, is that right? That's right. So and we that probably was, should, that was very impressive. It really was. I mean, it, yeah, that was excellent. Really uh, we got, we just got to remember to give that to more rooms tomorrow. And that's really one of the only dipole rooms yeah. we've well, run across guy, so you know, far. Yeah, right. Other than yeah, the legacy, the large legacy. Like it just didn't have to yeah. And we didn't always really stay there, though. Yeah, and then the omnidirectional um, MBL, which I MBL. thought was a fantastic Giant room. Both rooms were fantastic yeah. by MBL. What I enjoyed more were the smaller, the 126s. The like ones, yeah. Yeah. We never seen that. Yeah, I, I thought both rooms were exceptional, um, set up perfectly, you know. Those are tough speakers to make to a room in one weekend, but yeah. And the, the 101s, like you said, was also, also very good. But for some reason, for me, there's no the focus no chair, but wasn't quite as sharp kind of short, short. as mm -hmm. I think the 101s can do as far as center image goes. Right. It was Next just a beautiful right there. It sound so stage. Right. right. <laughs> but less pinpoint. They can pinpoint a little bit better than that. Like a, like a I was a little higher up and I was getting good pinpointing, but I was standing. So it could have been where you were sitting. I was getting like that pinpoint okay. that was that's very unique with the MBL. But yeah. To me, the voices and the vocals, everything was just yeah. Yeah. diffused, yeah. sitting down. Yeah, sometimes if you're lower by the bass module, it could do that. Yeah. But those singers have put on a lot of weight for they were used. <laughs> But what was more surprising today, the uh, Ari Surratt speaker or the fact that we had a harp player come in and appear before us? That was awesome, huh? And she played a song just for my wife I had asked her to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was so great. So that was fun. So we hit that right at the right time. We just walked in, sat down. Yeah, perfect timing. But I, I gotta say, probably the most memorable thing today was that Aries Surratt speaker. I've never heard or seen anything like that. I couldn't even imagine a speaker, like if I was gonna imagine the most wacky speaker design, that even surpassed that. Often when you look at a speaker like that, you assume it's gonna sound like it looks. Yeah, it sounded great. Yeah, I, I was just so baffled. I need to go back. Yeah. Wouldn't, you know, tons yeah. of bass. I couldn't believe it. I'm familiar with the gear either. Kind of yeah, the okay. Name, but not just the gear, the listening, yeah. Presence. I'm sure that was complimentary to it, but no, that speaker shouldn't work the way it is, or or people have gotten it wrong all of these years. Like, well, how is that working the way it's working? But let's uh, let's talk to uh, oh, you like the Margaret? Let's talk to Carl. Let me see your notes here. Well, we talked to the guys last night. Remember Margulis? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we talked to them extensively. I really liked it. Made in Mexico City. We could go visit them. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It said 1927. It's a family, uh, family-owned business, like four generations. And drink tequila while we're there. <laughs> <laughs> and go to a bullfight, right? That's, that's what else is on your list besides Margulis? Well, the Kronos. GTT Audio, Cronus, Cronus new, the, the new YG, speakers. those are nice. It's, just, it's the turntable. You yeah. like it? Yeah, they weren't playing the turntable when we were With there. the new R RSR. Okay. The, the Discovery. 
just incredible. I've They're seen that in several rooms. And, yeah, and the Joseph audio. Joseph audio was yes. really good. Always good with the yeah. Doshi. Their speakers are always good. Analog enough. tape, and they play good music. That was the one thing I was disappointed with today. It was like too much jazz in every room when I timed it. It's just timing, you know, sometimes. Yeah. There, but, I mean, there were some rooms I didn't like the music when they were playing. Yeah. I just sat there and waited. Usually it would change yeah. from track to track. There's so many rooms to see, you don't get much of a window to just wait for your track, but... Yeah, Abbott Gordon was really good. Uh, yeah, there's several of those rooms. You, which rooms did you check? The Serenity, the, the small stand-mounted ones? Or no, the, this is 1609. Okay. So, uh, and those avant-garde horn things. The big ones, the big horns, yeah. Holy cow! Those are pretty, that's pretty wild. That, that's... Louis is interesting. Yeah, we, we talked to them. Uh, I was in there when he was talking to the distributor. The Goble, yeah, that way you were The Goble, Goble. yeah, they're yeah. great speakers. Yeah, CH we went into that, yeah. That, uh, well, they're always coupled with CH. Yeah, and that Wadax. The Wadax. Really yeah. big room. Yeah. You know, kind of a long glass a Very big time. room, yeah. We had it upstairs, like, sweet. NBL room sounded great. Oh, yeah. Was, That's fantastic. Really, I mean, just the room sounded great. You know, right. we, we already know what the NBL sound is. So. The Wilson Audio Research DCS. Mm -hmm. The Sonus Barbara D of Boulder DCS. Okay. And under $4,000, the Polk Denon Room. Polk is killing it with their stuff. Do yeah. they have the L800? Really good. Did they have the L800 there or was it Polk? Well, I, I don't. Is it the big Polk or is it a small no, Polk? No, they were. What is the room? The Polk L800 is a must-hear speaker. Yeah, the Polk L800 does stuff no other speaker can do. And those really wild-looking things, I got them. I got them. They're, they're little modules, but they're only about this high. It was kind of low, I thought. Okay. But I kind of leaned down and, well, I didn't hear any. What are they called? Any, Those cabasses, cabasses, cabas. These things. Oh yeah, those. Yeah, they kind of look like the Goldman. Uh, yeah, the Goldman but, yeah, Nemesis. Yeah, but uh, they, 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 they they do it in an array, they all the other a horizontal array. The horizontal setup. That's good. Yeah, they were, that was pretty good. And of course, uh, what we're talking about the Mexico is the Nestlon. Grell, M MSB. Okay, cool, yeah. yeah. And that's all I've done so far. Well, 16, 15, 14. Jose got late. We're going to have to get his update tomorrow. Yes. What do you like? I walked into the Estelon room. That really don't even yeah. know what I heard. And those were really cool. Estelon was good, speaker. yeah. Um, another one downstairs was the old... Um, the old Wham. The Wham, the Wilson Wham. 1981. Yes. Yeah, I saw those in a magazine when I was a kid. And you um, almost bought they, them. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I found. Um, I almost. I sourced a pair in Italy, but with all the shipping issues, I didn't pull the trigger. Nonetheless, it would, I, first time I hear them at a show. Uh, really cool speaker. Really cool. Yeah, it was yeah, a cool. Yeah, super yeah, cool seeing them. Yeah. Yeah, it was super cool seeing somebody put those back together. The Wilsons yeah. were. They didn't have a sub. They, were, they had the base easy. tower, but they. Yeah. They usually have something with them, but they, they were standalone. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Alex? Alex? Uh, okay, not not the Wham, but yeah. The okay. red ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, they have the original Wham set up. All right, guys. I'll uh, do a little summary wrap-up later, but thought I'd give you this update. I'm going to chow down.